Hey yo 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 YouTube, what's up man, okay, today I'm going to be doing a recommendation video, another recommendation video, yeah, because that's how I roll. Now, <coughs> initially I was going to do a recommendation video on the camera, but which, which I think, you know, has lots of potential, but for right now, you know, fuck that shit, fuck that shit for right now, you know, it has lots of potential, but for now, just fuck it, because right now, at this very moment, I'm here to talk about the good shit, okay? The good shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the lovely shit, man. The top class shit, okay? I'm here to talk about the shit that will make you freaking want to grab the lotion and, you know, start beating your meat because that's how good it is, you know? Because that, that's top shit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whatever ages, I'm here to talk about the soup. That's right. That's right. You're introducing Berserk. Well, not actually introducing, but Berserk it is, man. Berserk it is. Because, man, this is some top class shit. Now, this has actually been a, this, you know, this is this uh, particular anime or manga, whatever you prefer, has actually been around for quite some time. In fact, that shit is, it has been around for what? 16 years? It actually got the. Uh, the manga I think got released in 1997 and 98 and it's actually it's, it's actually old shit I don't actually like doing old 90s you know type shit but you know after seeing Berserk why the hell not why the hell not and then the, the only reason I'm actually getting into this now is simply be put, simply put you know back in 97 98 that was yeah you know I was Shitting in diapers back then, so you know, just saying, isn't you know, never too, never too long to you know get into you know a manga a particular thing. That's why I'm actually recommending it to you guys. Perhaps if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna try to convince you to see it. But listen, man, there's some top class shit. So, really get that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, what's up? What's up? This was released actually in, like I said, in 97. Uh, what the shit is about, it was written by uh, Kentaro. I don't know the term, I ain't gonna say term. I don't wanna say, say term, but yeah. Actually, I'm actually wrong. It was actually, I'm checking this shit out. And it was actually released in the manga, it was actually released in 1990s. Yeah, 1990s. Oh my yo. I can see why I'm only getting into the shit now because back in 1990 I was, you know. Yeah, I wasn't even on the brain back in but yeah. So, what, what is Berserk about? Basically, Berserk is about, you know, it's actually a manga series that turned into an anime and it was, it's, it's, in, it's set in a medieval Europe, which is kind of, kind of like inspired by that type of a fantasy world, you know. Not elves and you no. Know, well, I don't want to give too much away, but you know, not your elves and your dwarves and your dwarfs and you know, you know, those types of shit, you know, this fucking shit. But the story actually centers around this one character, you know, this orphan mercen mercenary uh, called Guts, the Black Swordsman. And this dude, let me tell you about this dude. This guy is bad motherfucking ass. Okay, he's like he's like you know the cross between Kratos from God of War and War from the Dark Side of series, with the hint, hints here and there of Zabuza, but not actually Zabuza. But this is actually a badass mofo, and basically he's the the Black Swordsman, you know the most feared mercenary out there, you know the highest that. You give him some money, then bitch can work for you. He, can, he goes, he's kind of like an assassin or a man, but he fights in these, you know, types of all these. He's, uh, it's, it's obviously almost now set, set, set in the, uh, mud, you know, medieval types of shit that's around him. So, the story that's about this dude, and, oh, <laughs> fuck it, man, you know, I'm just gonna take it cool. No, just just cool, just cool, stupid. No, no worries, no stress, no shit like that. So, 
the story is actually about this dude named Cax and how he actually becomes a part of the mercenary group called the Band of Hope or the Band of Hope he becomes actually like this, a main central figure in this group alongside the leader of the pack of this this band of work called Griffith. Now this is some tight shit. This is some tight dope and shit. If I say so myself, because the story or the themes centers around, you know, it's you can find so much what you can find basically a lot of what it's based upon. You know, you get, you know, themes of isolation, you know, camaraderie, humanity, and basically the question of good and evil, what is good and what is evil, this is dope as shit, if I say so myself. And it explores like the human nature, if I have to you know, say so myself. And shit, it even makes you question destiny versus free will. Because, man, it's kind of like someone own, owning you, you know. I don't know if that shit makes any sense, but this dude along the way he meets this guy called Griffith and and Griffith and his crew actually notices that this dude's actually a very skilled swordsman and he's kind of like forced into this group by obviously losing a, a tour between him and Griffith because Griffith actually spotted him and along the way these two like had a tool and Griffith you know injured him and cats you know woke up in, in this spans you know uh, uh photo I don't know where and Griffin actually kind of like forced him to work or to work alongside uh the band of Oak or his band and <clears throat> at first he's reluctant he actually playing out you know doesn't want to be part of these mercenaries but of after losing a tool you know a swords you know the swordsmanship fucking fights I don't know what you call it you know, I can't think of it right now. After losing, you know, a tour between him and Griffith, he's kind of like forced into this uh, band of orcs or this mercenary group. At first, he's very, very reluctant, but you know, as time goes on, you know, actually forms a bond with these, you know, mercenaries and, you know, these hired thugs. And that's actually dope, in my opinion. So, how I feel about this series is after watching it, you know, Okay, I haven't actually completed it, but you know, often you know the amount of episodes I've watched, you know, this is some good shit. This is this is not my type of shit, you know. This has you know blood, this action, very 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 good character development, actually dope character development, probably probably the best character development I've actually seen in a in an anime or manga series. But you know, maybe I am blowing it out of proportion. But you know, you check it out for yourself. There's some light back in you. You actually can go check it out for yourself because this is actually <laughs> dope as shit, you know. So, and actually, this entire story or is actually based on a, a massive fucking flashback. You know, a massive flashback of how this man cuts, you know, came to be. I don't want to give too much away because of spoiler reasons and that type of shit. You know, because I actually want you guys to check it out for yourself. This is dope. I highly recommend this shit. You know, this is like my type of shit, you know. The genre is actually, you know, uh, you know, that dark, deep fantasy, you know, that. And, you know, very high levels of action. And the series is actually noted for its, you know, gory scenes, you know. You know, that type of blood bears, you know. It's dope shit. The animation, or if you, you know, going to check out the animation, or the anime, which I think is also good. Uh, it's kind of, you know, that mid, you know, mid 90s, you know, animation style. So you might not dig it, but that doesn't, that hardly plays effect. But once you know, get into this, and once you know, get, in, get, you know, to enjoy this anime, you know, that. It all even plays effect, it's all in your mind because you know you're so deep into the story that shit man, it's like fucking back of your mind, but this is actually dope types of shit. Highly recommend this. You know, obviously it's you know not for kids, you know. You know, younger than the ages of twelve or <laughs> younger than you know. So it's actually you know that kind of uh late teen, you know, young adults, you know, that 
that she is actually very grown up type shit. I shouldn't actually be watching it, but fuck it, I'm watching it, you know, I did it. Uh, so, if that's actually your type of thing, you know, kind of, it's highly reminiscent of Bleach. Actually, it's not even, it's not, why am I comparing to Bleach? Because it's not like Bleach. The only reason I'm actually comparing it to Bleach is because, you know, the amounts of blood in this, you know, in this particular manga, anime, it's, you know, it's of the charts, you know. The action, like I said, of the charts. And, you know, it actually has, you know, very, you know, high levels of uh, historical references. You know, like Texas Island, all, you know, is quite similar to this, so. Uh, Gods, well, one very blah 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 shit like a German nightmare, you know. We learned all that in history course, but forget. And it also, you know, actually kinds of, how should I say, the references to cats being kind of like a Robin Hood type of figure, you know. You know, a band of, you know, so mercenaries and so and soldiers, you know. And cats, you know, actually seems to be having you know, this type of a Robin Hood. Is figure, you know, but forget, but forget, you know, I don't want to go too deep in this, I don't want to go into, you know, full blown reviewers mode because I'm not in the mood, I'm tired. And yeah, man, I basically recommend this. This is, you know, probably, you know, makes its way into my top five, you know, once I finish it, no problem because, you know, this is dope animation, dope music. The OST, man. The OST, it may be a bit corny, but you know, this, this is no hard knocks type shit. It's, it's no so in there, like I said. It stops, you know. Actually, there's, you know, a video game and there's, you know, like a type of film series, you know, Berserk Golden Age. I think there are about two movies out there. It was actually released back in 2012 and in 2013. So, you know, you can only imagine for yourself, you know, how much the animation has improved. If the animation has improved, you know, the story, or if it really you take too much deeper into the plot, or into the story of Berserk, I highly recommend Berserk. This shit is dope. If I have to give out of five stars, like, a, I don't even know why, but, you know, this is, you know, a very solid four. Yeah, you know, you know, it's excellent. I don't want to give five stars because you know I haven't completed watching it. But yes, man, highly recommend this. If you into you know dark fantasy action amounts of blood, man, this is for you. But for me right now, I'm out of here. I'm out. You know I got shit to do. I never actually meant for this particular recommendation really to go. You know freaking over ten minutes. But you know probably after editing. No, 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 no editing. Fuck editing. I'm, my editing stinks, it's, it's shit, it's complete dog shit. But you know, uh, this is it. Check it out, Berserk. If you haven't, you know, you don't know what is anime or you don't know what is manga. If you haven't checked out series like Berserk or like Death Note, you know, this is top class. Highly recommend. Get this shit now. Anyway, for me, the anime savior. Yeah, man, I'm out. Berserk, bitches, Berserk.